fairy tale in Skopje, a fairy tale which only Handball can write. Things didn't look great for HC Varda after Raul Gonzalez and some key players left the club, but some new hungry faces quickly replaced them, and with new coach Roberto Garcia Parondo in charge, formed a very dangerous, extremely motivated group of players. This new Vardar team opened the group phase in style with an away win against the reigning champions. A lucky punch? Not if you ask Vardar's new foundation of Scuba in attack and Milos Savliev in goal. The Macedonians continued to stock the handball world with wins against Vesprem away and the Leuven at home, only to be stopped in Poland against Kielce. They finished the group phase in third place in what would be a decisive Group A. The last 16 brought us the Balkan Classico Zagreb against Varda. An ultimate showdown for the throne of the south, and what a performance the Varda players produced. The team dismantled the Croatians in the first duel in Zagreb and showed everyone that they mean business this season. And slowly the new Varda axis of Karacic and Kristopans showed what they are capable of as well. Waiting in the quarterfinals were the Hungarian champions from Zeged. There were no secrets between the two sides. Makeda and Kaneas joined Zeged from Varda, while Skube and Gorbok went in the other direction. And after a furious final 10 minutes in Skopje, Varda managed to end with an eight goal lead to take with them to Zeged, where, thanks to a wonderful performance from Karacic, the Macedonians made history again. This season it's been very hard for us with the financial problems with injured players. The situation is not good, but oh my God, we made it, we made it, we did it. Players were amazing, and we can play Final Four. This is a, an amazing prize for, for us. Their third consecutive VLUX EHF Final Four is probably the sweetest one yet. Can Varda repeat history and shock the handball world again? Well, you know what they say, an injured lion still wants to roar. <laughs>